I like Seeman's honesty. He is very clear that for him and for Nam Tamil Arkachi, interests of Tamils first. He says nothing doing, no compromise. What is right is right, and what is wrong is wrong. Let the people of Tamil Nadu decide whether they want Seeman or what they want somebody else. Before Seeman, style of politics. Everybody was complimenting each other. Now here is a person who catches the bulls by its horns. You quoted that uh, DMK government is harassing and suppressing Seemans, uh, NTK's leader Seemans. So why did you say that? He is a political leader. He should be allowed to function. Why do you need to keep on fasting so many FIRs against him? The common man in India. or in tamil nadu does not like police people they get scared people need to understand as to why he fled from punjab to canada we are being suppressed by asking us to accept whatever is the government policy the government is not listening until the government listens there will be more hardeep singh nijers people who are raising voice against government they are confessing them as a terrorist group so what do you think about this muslim organizations are so fearful that they don't want to even talk they are under they are under the full atmosphere of the state you ask for your rights you are a terrorist sounds of the sound yal gaanam namma santosh narayanoda neradi isai nigalchi namma mutraveli maidanam yal paanathile october 21 maalai 4 manikku thodangudhu official digital partner rednool rednool neerkalukku vanakkam நாம் தமிழர் கட்சியினுடைய ஒருங்கிணைப்பாளர் சீமான் அவர்கள் கடந்த முறை பிரஸ் மீட் கொடுக்கும் போது அவரோட ஒரு சிங் ஒருத்தர் நின்று பேசிட்டு இருந்தாரு பஞ்சாபை சார்ந்த சிங் ஒருத்தர் ஜக்மோகன் சிங் அப்படின்னு சொல்லிட்டு நாம் தமிழர் கட்சிக்கான தன்னுடைய ஆதரவையும் தன்னுடைய நிலைப்பாடு என்ன அப்படிங்கிறதையும் திமுக குறித்தான ஒரு சில விமர்சனங்களையும் அவர் முன் வச்சிருந்தாரு நாம் தமிழர் கட்சியினர் திமுகவினர் ஒடுக்குறாங்க அப்படின்ற மாதிரி இன்னைக்கு அவர் தான் நம்ம கூட இருக்காரு சோ அவர்கிட்ட பேசலாம் வாங்க So how do you know about Seeman sir? Uh I got in touch with Seeman through my human rights work that brought me in touch with Seeman more than 10 years ago. And since then I have been maintaining my links with him and his party. I also campaigned for him during his elections once uh when he was contesting from uh, Kadalur and uh I hope to once again support him during the coming elections as well so what do you like most about seeman sir his speech uh, his policies his party's policies and agenda or uh, about his character uh, or anything like that i like seeman's honesty i like seeman's forthrightness in yes, saying what the problems are and his distinct political style where he puts the rights of the tamils at number 1 when he is deciding to give any particular statement regarding anything else he does not show any signs of getting under pressure of anything he is very clear that for him and for nam tamil arkachi tamils first interests of tamils first so here in punjab also i am a strong believer without compromising any other people's rights my rights are should be protected my rights should be honored the rights of the people and the right of the state must be honored so it is this this sincere sincerity in his approach is what i like about him but here in tamil nadu uh, people or any other parties uh, apart from nam tamilar katchi is uh, keep on targeting uh, nam tamil kachi's leader seeman uh, for his controversy speech and scandals so how do you see that you see what happens is that when a third wave comes the established waves get disturbed because before seeman style of politics 
everybody was complimenting each other now here is a person who catches the bulls by its horns he says nothing doing no compromise what is right is right and what is wrong is wrong whereas other political parties or the existing political parties whether it is the dmk or the all india anna dmk or the congress they have been playing politics with each other without addressing the main issue which concerns tamils and moreover moreover seeman doesn't stop only at tamil nadu seeman talks about tamil interests across the tamil world whether that is in sri lanka or whether it is in the tamil diaspora huge tamil diaspora in so many countries of the world and that is this his his approach has a similarity with how the sikhs are also are are, are supposed to conduct their politics we are also not limited only to talking about i'm talking about sikh nationalists i'm talking about tamil nationalists not the existing political parties and the way they function so we also feel that we should address issues as a nationality as a people as a, as as somebody who has very clear picture about how federalism should be run not just as a compromise between the state and the and, and the union as a matter of right of the people so there will be there is some turbulence now going on in tamil nadu as i see do you think our dmk government is not following the federalism rules properly or not governing our uh, city not governing our state the state government in tamil nadu is being vicious by foisting cases against seeman every other day there is some case or the other most of them are false and spurious most of them do not stand the test of courts and they try to obstruct his political work let the people of tamil nadu decide whether they want seeman or want they want somebody else there should be no external uh, political and police pressures put on the ntk leader and the ntk ranks they should not harass the ntk followers he speaks against muslims and christians he he claims that muslims and christians were the children of satan and these controversy speeches will uh, create a, a, a more haters in tamil nadu for seeman so wh- how did you see that right on stage as well as uh, in the audience in the many meetings that i have attended i have seen a lot of muslims in his party i have seen muslim women coming up to me even those who are in parda they come with their brothers or husbands and come and tell me thank you for uh, coming from punjab to support seeman i see no hatred whatsoever and i think this is all uh, cooked up by a section of the media to uh, to to spoil his good name and i do not see he comes to delhi to support uh, sikhs he comes to delhi to amritsar to support the sikhs i see no reason i i see seeman as a as a very noble human being and there is absolutely no hatred against anybody he has his own stand on 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 uh, political parties he has his own stand on uh, various developments that are taking place uh, in in uh, in the country and he is entitled to that stand there is absolutely no hatred as far as i know and i know it pretty well that there is no hatred whatsoever and all this is once again a vicious campaign to give him a bad name tamil nadu is governed majoritarily by uh the, the, the dravidian parties whether it is admk or dmk so what do you think about dravidian because seeman is uh, fully opposed to dravidian and he full and full supports to only tamils and tamil nationalism so what do you think about it what's your stand in it i i think that i think that uh nam tamilar kachi has a very clear picture about how they want to re- to uphold the rights of their people and uh, whether 
the the policies which are considered to be dravidian uh, whether they are actually dravidian or not is also in question whether uh, the dravidian politics is in the interest of the people of tamil nadu or not is also in question so and and siman is following his own school of thought so my 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 view is this that in a democracy in an open democracy everybody should be allowed to have his or her own say somebody will agree somebody will disagree and let the people decide as to whether he is right or he is fully right and uh, whether they would like to go with the uh, old forces or whether they would like a new face to come in so when you speak in that press meet you uh, you quoted that uh, dmk government is harassing and suppressing seamans uh, ntk's leader seamans so why did you say that i simply said because uh, i think you will know more than me that he has more than around 30 40 cases which have been resist- registered in the last few uh, months he is a political leader he should be allowed to function why do you need to keep on fasting so many fir against him for uh, absolutely no rhyme or reason and wherever he conducts the political meetings now you deliberately to overawe the people uh, uh, i was there to um, at the at the memorial meeting of uh, the ntk leader chandrashekharan who passed away recently and i saw a big posse of police persons there why why do you need so many hundreds of police people when he he comes there is the government already or the administration or already acknowledging that he has become a big leader and he needs police protection or are they trying to keep people away this is harassment by itself the common man in india or in tamil nadu does not like police people they get scared so why wh- why are they doing this i was at the at the meeting at the uh, police station where you saw me speaking i mean can you imagine that the entire police station was uh, uh, you know the way i i i would think that there were around more than 2000 police people there and he had just come only for a hearing at the police station why do you need so much of police protection explain us what happened on that hearing day exactly to the best of my knowledge as his lawyers told me there was some false case against him and this was the last submission that he had to make and now that that submission has been made the police will file its report before the court and the entire uh, episode will get cancelled through uh, with the with the quashing of the fir in the high court we are seeing for a long time six years in india are not safe or uh, they are threatened by some other else so what do you think about that and uh, Re- in a recent days uh, we have hearing news about uh, hardeep singh nejar in canada he was killed by uh, and he he was killed by someone and some allegations are uh, surrounding the surrounding that so what do you think about this what i want to say about this is what i want people in tamil nadu to understand and india also to understand the killing of an individual is itself very wrong but more than that people need to understand as to why he fled from punjab to canada why is he talking about sikh rights what is the question of sikh rights today in punjab or in the world or in india and it is these questions which are not being addressed even today we are being suppressed by asking us to accept whatever is the government policy on many things and it is this suppression of rights which is creating discord between india and the six and now between india and canada canada is the second home of the six instead of talking about canada supporting the six india should be thinking as to what is the reason 
that the Sikhs in Canada are behaving like this? What should India do to bring about a resolution to the conflict between India and the Sikhs? Is there a conflict? India will say no, there is no conflict. Everything is a law and order problem. The Indian approach is call the dog mad and then shoot him. Kill him. But do you think and that is why I think that Tamil Nadu is in a better position to understand this because we have had the Sri Lankan situation, which was uh, the, 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 the Tamil situation in Sri Lanka. There also it was addressed only as a law and order problem and it continues to be seen as a law and order problem even till today. And that is why even though the struggle may look to be waned a bit, the main issue of Tamil rights still stands. So, but do you think our government will listen or hear to the crying of these people? Are they ready? To I know hear? that the government is, that is my whole problem that I'm saying that the government is not listening. The government is not listening until the government listens. There will be more Hardeep Singh Nijars. There will be more people. Jagjit Singh Johal comes from uh, Great Britain. He is in jail for the last five years and his trial started only a few months ago only because an international body uh, took up the case with the government of India that you know, why are you not starting trial? Five years without trial of a foreign citizen just because he happens to be a Sikh. He may be a Sikh activist also. He was a Sikh human rights activist. If he's done wrong, please, you know, continue the trial and then uh, bring him to justice. But you can't hold on people. Uh, you know, endlessly. That's not how justice works. And then if the Sikhs in Great Britain or in uh, UK talk about his rights, you, you start calling them names. It doesn't work. I know you're very right. India is not listening. But in, if India wants to win over the Sikhs, if, in, if it wants to, we don't know whether they want it or not. Probably they just want to use the Sikhs as they have been used in the past for political reasons, for electoral reasons. They want to cheat us. They want to deceive us. Oh, one thing uh, people are getting confused in uh, India is terrorism. Uh, everyone is terrorism. Uh, they, are, they are confessing everyone is terrorism, whether it is a Muslim group, it is a Sikh group, uh, something called Khalistan. And uh, people who are raising voice against government, they are confessing them as a terrorist group. So what do you think about this? That is exactly what I said uh, a few minutes ago. The problem with the approach of the government of India is this. You ask for your rights. You are a terrorist. If journalists are asking of their, for their rights, they are terrorists today. Editors have been booked under UAPA. Muslim organizations are so fearful that they don't want to even talk. They are under, they are under the full uh, fear atmosphere of the state. Extending from Uttar Pradesh to Delhi to other, Bihar to other parts of the country. The, the Sikhs are getting uh, straight into the focus because the Sikh diaspora is raising the demand for Sikh rights. And it is because of okay. this demand that the government of India is in an unsettled position. And the stance of the government of India is where the basic problem is. If you are not with me, then you are a terrorist. Simple. We don't like you. You are a terrorist. If Kashmiri leaders talk about Kashmiri rights, they are terrorists. And there are thousands of terrorists now from Kashmir who are in UP prisons, in Delhi prisons and elsewhere for years together. Nobody is even talking about them. So this, this approach by India needs to change. And unless that changes, I'm afraid that 
the core issues in respective areas will not be solved hope everything will be normal and uh, all right soon so thanks you sir thank you so much for your time holidays nale adu nama gt holidays da gt holidays south india's number one travel brand you know you are special when you are with gt holidays rendu liters sunland oil vaangna 18 rupees madipulla shakti masala manjal tool free supreme mobiles apple authorized reseller one stop solution for all your apple products 